Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Beanie season. It's beanie season! Let's go! Uh, Sometimes uh, I wonder how high I can prop this beanie up off the top of my head. My name is Kent. I'm a filmmaker. And I like to tell stories about my journey through life. I'm a Gen Z product of the internet. Yeah. I like to meme, stream, dream, repeat. Meme, stream, dream, repeat. Stop. This is my show. Bliss. Wait, who gave you a show? You suck. Me. All right, gamers, it is my favorite time of year. It is beanie season, it is fall finally, and we are starting to get a little bit more moved into our apartment. Not all the way though, and that's why we're here today. I have this hilarious story. One time Jamie and I were sitting at dinner with some family friends, and we're all just chatting about life. You know, they came to our wedding, we're talking about wedding memories, and then she's like, well, it's July and August is coming up, so are you guys moving again? And we were like, what? What is that supposed to mean? And she was like, well, you guys have been together for three years and you've moved three times. So, you know, we're just assuming August, we know your lease is up. And we were like, wow, I feel incredibly attacked. And two, yeah, you're goddamn right. We're moving down the street. So now we live in a townhouse and Jamie and I finally have our own spaces. I have my beautiful, wonderful office here. Jamie is up on the third floor in the guest bedroom, but it's not a guest bedroom, it's Jamie's office first and Jamie's office turns into a guest room. Okay, lock that up here kids. So the thing is, so the thing is moving has, so the thing is moving, so the thing, so the thing is moving has, whoa, I have fucked that sentence up 10 times in a row. So the thing is moving in has taken longer than we expected, mostly for like COVID reasons. We don't feel comfortable just like going to Home Depot every day, which is kind of what we do when we move in, but we're taking it slower. So we've been ordering everything online and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because we don't have to touch anybody and it's a bad thing because we can literally do anything we've ever wanted because we're not focused on time. So Jamie came up with this amazing idea, this this. I don't want to take my coat off. It's fine. You literally look like an Animal Crossing character. Like if you were to like run around the office, does it your arms like hang behind you? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is it. Okay, I said that I didn't want to tell them about the green, the I, not the green, the, the, the idea, doing? because it was your idea. We're building a moss wall. We're building a moss wall. Where did this idea come from? Everything is I a... saw somebody who was selling them and then I was like, I'm not gonna buy one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's gonna cost $1,500. Basically bucks. like a local plant store started doing like custom ones and they looked really cool. Just to be clear, we're big fans of this plant store. We buy the rest of our plants from this yeah. plant store. So we're still um, supporting them. We love them. And we would have bought one from them. We just thought it would be a fun yeah. project. And the odds of us fucking this up are like medium, medium. to medium rare. So I would say maybe in the end they might get some business. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs and like look at it really quick because you said you wanted to do one final measure. I do want to measure. Oh, yeah. What's this? Is this six feet? I feel like that's pretty good. And then you think you want to go four feet tall? Yeah. Oh, I think that's great. I that's think great. Any bigger than that is too big. Yeah. We want it big. I'm missing the bird poop of to Los Bagels? Yes, please, I'm very hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Yeah. I, see, I didn't realize that that was the reason that you were like so hungry. Is that because yeah. okay. you were? We don't know them, do we? No, so. Oh, I forgot. This seems pretty good. I want whatever's lightest. So here's what we're trying to figure out. We bought a load of moss. Just trying to make sure we were gonna definitely have enough. What we need now is a wooden frame and backboard of sorts. We're thinking of building a six foot by four foot frame, screwing it onto some thin plywood, and then gluing the moss to that plywood. At least that's our plan. So why build a moss wall? Well, this project actually has a deeper meaning than just a moss wall. I don't know if a moss wall already has a deeper meaning or not. I can't figure that out. The end of September is Jamie and I's wedding anniversary. 
and we've had such a crazy, crazy life together. I love sharing bits and stories of our past, and we're super excited for where our world is headed, and especially that we get to do it together. We didn't get to do anything to celebrate our two-year anniversary this year because of, well, like, obviously COVID. And that's fine. I'm not here to complain about that. We still love each other, but it's just like a darn. So we decided instead of spending that money on a trip or an event or Goodbye. something that yes. we would normally do, we're just going to build a moss wall together and make a weekend out of it. I say we just go for it. You think so? Okay. I don't want to wait any longer. Talk to me, how was your Home Depot experience? Long. Long. Awful. It was horrible. There's nothing wrong with Home Depot. That's just like, not the point. Yeah. It was it just- It just always takes an hour longer than I think it's gonna God take. God damn, we spent like two hours in there and we bought like eight things. We should have just thought about it better because we went to like the same aisle four different times yeah. for four different items instead yeah. of just getting all of the items at once. All right, here's an idea. We should have made a shopping list. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever thought of that before? I don't think so. I don't think so either. You're a genius. Thanks. Okay, so what do we get? Thin plywood. Thin plywood. Like hardwood plywood, I believe oh, it was is hardwood? what it is. I just think of Animal Crossing where it's like you get hardwood <laughs> or softwood or hardwood. That's about the context. So that's hardwood or of, softwood? I think it's hardwood, which didn't make any sense to me because the hardwood was lighter than the softwood, but. <laughs> okay, and then for the frame, Two by twos. Two by two. And then what do we have to join it all together? Wood glue. Yes. For gluing the frame. Yep. We got stain. We got stain, sure did. Brushes to yep. stain the wood. Yep. And a lot of hot glue. A lot of hot glue. Oh, so we were watching Moss Wall videos last night and we have a new favorite YouTuber, but she went through and she was saying that the same moss she bought at at Michael's. Yeah, but right. we bought it But online. we went to their website and they had like a ton of stuff. This so this stuff is like, all preserved moss. Just to be abundantly clear, dead moss. It is dead moss. Preserved. So it was real, now it is preserved. dead. Yeah. So this is just like a sheet? Maybe, I don't know. Sheet. Some reindeer moss. It's like a stick covered in moss. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, some Spanish moss. That's, it's on manual focus, it's not gonna do it. Nope, not how that works. <laughs> Jamie, that's not how that works. Focus, do the thing. Do you think this Spanish moss has little bugs in it? Like actual Spanish moss? I don't know. Is this our roll? Sheet. Holy oh, shit. So it's like, I don't know if you can see the like It's like layers. a wheel. Like smells like moss. It actually smells like damp. Like a, like a swamp. Yeah, there are. So I don't know how long <laughs> this is, but our thinking was like. We cover the whole back. Right, because we want it to be, we've said this word so many times, but like textured. God, I hope we do this right. Just so it's like clear and you're not like, oh, but they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> we do not know how to woodwork. We do not know how to make a moss wall. If I was to break down what we're doing, we're gonna screw and then we're gonna glue. Yeah. In that order. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's right. build this thing. I feel thing. like we should put all this back in the mud. Yeah, we will, we will. W. It's w, beautiful. that's crazy. Beautiful. Wow. Thoughts? Medium. Medium. Whew! That is pungent. Damn. Really? But yeah. Did you get anything on your fingers? I don't think so. Just sticky. I don't know. Do you think we should leave it longer? No. I think we just go for it. It was at this moment he knew he needed to call his sister and brother-in-law because he had no idea what he was doing and they know about woodworking a little bit more than he does. Hey. Hello. Hey, okay. So Jamie and I are building a moss wall. what's a moss wall? Mm, great question. We are trying to attach the frame together, drill and then screw, but we don't have clamps. 
and so we were gonna try and cheese it with some of my film clamps, but these are too small. And so Jamie was like, what if we just screwed it? And I was like, I, yeah? Yeah. You think we could do that? I think we're gonna do that. I think that that answers our question. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey everyone, quick PSA. My sister, who I was just on the phone with, runs this amazing podcast called Remedial Herstory. It's about all of the dope women that they didn't tell you about in history class, but they should have, but are complete badasses. If you're into dope podcasts, you should check hers out. That's like all you're gonna get from me is just blind confidence. So far it's gone pretty oh, medium for us. Yeah. That's way too much. No, 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 no. Here's the issue. We bought the right screws, we think. Maybe. Right, also maybe. <laughs> Jamie was like, hey, do we have a drill bit for that? And I was like, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you said it way more confident than that. You were like, oh yeah. And then I get home and I realize, oh, the only two drill bits we have are drill bits that come in these like cases of drywall screws. God damn it. So we only have two drill bits and they're just random sizes. Oh, I found another one. Just <laughs> bigger. <laughs> God, there's so many just loose nails and screws in here. We gotta pull out every oh, everything we possibly right. I see you. It's a little smaller. Progress. Because if you that word, it ruins the whole thing. You got any more encouraging <laughs> advice for me before I get started? <laughs> that went great. All I gotta say is just like, shout out Jeff and Kelsey. In the bottom of the bag, that was just a bunch of loose screws. <laughs> your, your honest advice is bottom of this bag, there's just screws. Amy's tapping the side of her head, just <laughs> repeatedly. No, I was, I was. Oh, sorry, Jamie was right. Thank you. Do less than you Make sure they're really even. No, 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 no. I watch people on YouTube wipe it with their hand all the time. Wipe. Wipe, wipe it down, wipe, 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 wipe it down, wipe. Have you ever seen it done well? No. <laughs> One down. One down. Four to go. Took four hours. Do I glue it and then clamp it and then screw it? <laughs> Say it. Say it. Say it. You know the order. <laughs> You know the order. Yep. Yeah, maybe actually. And then you need to hold it together. Screw it. Frame is screwed and glued. Wait, is it glued and screw? Well, that meme's gone. We're gonna lay these two down so that our backboard doesn't bend. And then I think we're gonna glue and screw that too and just let the whole thing dry. people. I'm helping. Mm -hmm. You know what they say, you don't know much glue to use. <laughs> Write your name. Right. Oh. We're literally intentionally putting heavy things on it, but you wouldn't let me walk on it. Yeah, you logic. That doesn't make yeah. any sense. <laughs> So yesterday, the frame and the backdrop and everything really just came together. We really sketchily did it, but it actually is pretty solid. So today, we were able to give ourselves the pleasure of just focusing on moss. Actually, that's not true. We gotta figure out how we're gonna hang it. Yeah, but that feels like a later problem. Uh-huh. So we're gonna start with the sheet. 
and then we're gonna just gonna get to trying to be creative while, while placing it. I don't know how that's gonna go, to be honest, but. Should I just like try rolling it out? I feel like, yeah. Rock, we're gonna need to cut it. I feel like this was not the best way to roll this out. Such a good, just like base. Some parts of it, like that edge, looks pretty good. That's I just wanna get this excess off. We called an audible. We realized we need to do a little more planning. Jane, what are you doing? I'm watching Bob Ross. Ready to have some fun? Don't overdo. Don't overdo. It gets working and it feels good, and next thing you know, you've overdone it. Overdone it. Oh, 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 overdone it. And just beat the devil out of it. That's when you find out who your friends are. Friends are. Friends are. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. <laughs> Think you get some inspiration from Bob Ross? Yeah, he. I almost feel like maybe we don't need to do any planning. He was like, we don't do any sketching, don't do any planning. We let it flow straight from our hearts onto the canvas. Are you serious? Yeah, maybe we need to do that. We're gonna transition. I'm tired already. To the, what? So we spent a few minutes just drawing our favorite mountains and just trying to feel out different shapes. We ended up at one that I think we both enjoy, but I, to be honest, I feel like we're gonna change it a bunch. We just have so many weird types of moss that we're trying to figure out where they're gonna go. It's trickier than we thought, but we got this. I think to start, Same with these guys. I think that's what we need to start with. We need to figure out what we want to do with these guys too. Maybe we take them all out. I'm ready to send this idea. Kinda. Hang over the top. Oh, that's nice. I don't know though. I think it adds kind of a nice. Finally, moderately happy with what we have laid out. We were stuck for a long time. We laid down this big branch first, and I think that kind of like got us a little trapped. So I took that off and then just kind of started filling in. But I think conceptually, if these patterns were a little bit sharper and cleaner, I think it would look good. I'm gonna try laying out the branch again. See if that looks good. If that doesn't look good, I might try just kind of hiding the sticks in here somewhere. I don't even know how to say this. Well, actually, I do know how to say it. This is what I was trying to, I ruined my own statement. We did it. Well, we made something and now we're gonna try and hang it. I promise I'll give you a tour in like one second. I had to, I had to do the air horn. That went a thousand times better than we both expected, I think. Um, we got a little bit of cleanup to do, but I think it's fine. We got a lot more detailing to do. The size is perfect. It's it's huge. It's epic. But we have some work to do.
All right, after the final touches and spending like an hour and a half trying to figure out how to center it over the couch, center it on the TV, center it on the wall, make sure it's not too high or too low, you know, all those small details, we finally got it into place. For the first one, we just like held it up there and Jamie marked out where the studs are so we could drill it in. The second time, we just sent it. <laughs> Yep, the whole thing would have been ruined, but it is not. I feel like all this fell off. But it is on the wall, officially. The installation is complete. Wow. Man, oh man, Jane, your last little touch of the dangling is so great. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna look cheesy, but it looks so good. It looks so good. This thing's like so came together. We. At the very end, we're certain that this thing was a dud and that we had totally fucked it, but I'm super proud. Oh my God, I can't she believe it. We did it. We did. That's nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Married for two years, we got a moss wall out of it. <laughs> oh, we forgot to write that on the back. Well, we made a video. Hopefully that counts. Hopefully. Maybe. Let's eat dinner. I'm so hungry. I'm also very hungry. I'm starving. The fact that I actually have something to show here is just insane. Jamie and I have just almost no plant. We are just like not plant designers or artists like that in any sense, but it was just so fun to go for it. If you're thinking about building a moss wall or you like this idea and you think you could do it, you totally can. You can do it smaller, you can do it bigger, you can do a whole wall. It's totally possible. It's all about just committing. It's just continuing to push forward. We probably laid things down, picked them up, laid them down, picked them up, laid them down like 15 or 16 different times. It was just so many changes, but it was all worth it in the end. I would recommend this. We had an amazing time. We spent a whole weekend just doing a thing and we don't spend as much time together as I think we both would like. And this was an amazing excuse to just be together, especially in celebration of our wedding anniversary. So thank you guys so much for watching. I totally appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. What an amazingly fun project. And I'm so glad I got to bring you guys along with Mosswall. Totally worth it, totally awesome. Finish that art, follow your dreams, and I'll see you guys in a video next Wednesday.